We're here at Perry's Motors today with British touring car driver Paul O'Neill. We're going to be looking at the Vauxhall Aguila, accompanied by sales advisor Nick. This is a city car, we'd say? That's right, yeah. I mean, generally we'll sell this to someone who's going to be to and fro around town. With small engines, you'll get lower carbon emissions, and I'm thinking you'll get good road tax as well. Yeah, I mean, the first year's free. After that, then, it's uh, £20 thereafter. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you're going to get in a lower insurance group as well with them small engines. With small, fuel-efficient engines combined with cheap road tax and insurance, the Vauxhall Aguila is the perfect partner for a first-time buyer. I think we should have a look inside the car. Yeah. Should we do that? Perfect. Thank you. All right. It's very high up in here. It is. I mean, you do have the option of lowering it as well. OK, so you Just can go quite low. Perfect. Yes. So it does move around. Right, OK, so you go up and down. That's pretty cool for me. First things first, it's pretty bright in here. The car that we have is a, a blue SE model, and it's very blue on the dashboard. So if I've got a yellow one, would it be yellow? Yeah, I mean, you've got the option of changing the uh, dash of the seats and obviously the exterior colour as well. You can really let your personality shine in the Aguila with the customisable dash colour and seating trim. Buttons on the steering wheel, I mean I know this is the top of the range one, I didn't expect it to have any on at all, so you've got seek, uh, volume, so that's for your, your, your stereo, it says MP3 on here as well. That's right, that's an option, you've got your MP3 disc player, mm -hmm. uh, your audio functions on there. Uh, choose your radio stations, your volume, mute it and obviously go for your different sources as well. Okay, that's pretty, pretty good. Styling as a whole I think is fantastic, you've got a big uh, speedometer in white which is nice, then you've got the quite a funky little uh, rev counter on the top there which reminds me of other manufacturers which are very well known and they, they look really good so I think that's a pretty good little styling feature. Here with the, um, the gearbox is quite high up as well. Yep. That's pretty good, isn't it? It feels quite comfortable, that does. I mean, that's the uh, reason behind it, basically, because the car itself sets slightly higher up, obviously, when you get in. Rather than reach down for your gear stick, mm -hmm. it's just there waiting for you. It makes yeah. it a little bit more comfortable. No, that's good. That's really good. And you've got storage, door bins, the usual kind of thing. Yep. Um, I just caught out the corner of my eye here. Sunglasses holder, very nice. Yep, that's oh. what I'm waiting for. You. You've mm -hmm. also got a magazine shelf there. Yep. And a little Locker compartment room. on the top. Ah, oh, right, OK. OK. Bit of a square piece in here, so you can put quite a few things in there. Normal glove box, good space in there. Oh, you can put a little thing in here as well with a 12 volt, and you've got your your your, your middle uh, compartment here as well. So it's all for you, isn't it? Um, air conditioning, that's really really good in a car. I think that's quite competitively priced. That's fantastic. And what's this for? Is this the old mirrors? That is for your electric mirrors. They are heated and electric. Oh, right, okay. So in the winter, if it's frosted up, uh, you can get the windscreen on, also to clear these at the same time, because it's quite wide. Oh, that's okay. So you're getting quite a lot of spec for your car, so it's pretty impressive from what we've seen so far. I reckon we should go and have a look in the back. For me? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Yeah? Alright. Cool. <coughs> okay, first things first. Again, it feels like he's got more headroom in the back, I think, because the seats are lower. So I'm six foot, uh, got quite wide shoulders as well. But I think I could I could have somebody happily sat next to me there. Definitely. You've also got the option as well of three people getting in. You've actually got a three point seat belt just behind you there. Oh, that's okay. Oh, proper job. So across your shoulder and over your lap. Yeah, as opposed to the waist belt, which mm -hmm. is not, not good. Yeah, then they're, they're not very good then, are they? So they're quite good safety wise for the third person if you wear it and sat in the middle. It's quite a small car, but feels very spacious, you've got a lot of glass in the car, so, you know, good visibility even from the back, so we might stop a bit of car sickness and things like that. Um, storage wise, we've got bits and bobs here and there, just in the middle, so we can pop something here. Very low transmission tunnel as well. That's right. Some cars do have a big step and the person sat in the middle, sometimes I feel can struggle. Yeah, they compromise, they like yeah. them when they go on a long journey. Exactly, so you're compromised in the middle, but in, in this car, looks pretty spot on. And then here we've got a pocket on the back of the seat for um, your OK magazine or whatever you watch or read. No, I don't read any of that. Um, loads of legroom, really, really impressive. I don't think there's any, any more to say about that. It's pretty self explanatory, isn't it? Cool. Should I have a look in the back? Absolutely. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. OK. Well, before we open the boot, lifetime warranty. Does it apply to this car and what is it? I mean, basically, it'll apply to every car that's on the Vauxhall range. Mm -hmm. um, what it is, it's a lifetime warranty that's for the first owner of the car. All you need to do is keep it serviced at Perry's, uh, an accredited dealer. Uh, and it's every 10,000 miles or every 12 months, whatever comes first. 
and then everything on the car in effect is going to be covered. So Vauxhall are pretty confident on the lifetime or the lifespan of the car, so that's good isn't oh, yeah, it? Absolutely. Customer satisfaction. Should we give it an open? Yeah, just a little pressure pad underneath. Oh, so it is. It's very nice. Nice little touch. Okay. That's the kind of space I was expecting from a city car. Yeah. I can't really complain with that. And then you've also got the option of putting the seats forward as well. Yeah. And once you do that, you'd be surprised with the amount of room. Pretty easy to do then. It just flattens straight down. Brilliant. It's in, in effect that it's pretty much a small estate. Pretty much half the space of the car now has, has come to the fore and you can get more or less what you want in the back there, haven't you? You can, to be honest. Obviously, there's no lip either. Mm -hmm. uh, so in terms of getting things in and out, it's a lot easier. Considering the size of this car, practicality is very impressive, with 225 litres of boot space, which is on par with the Hyundai i10. That's really impressive. Been impressed with the, the way the car has been described to me and shown. I think it's brilliant, Nick. If I'm interested, I come down and see yourself, the Perry's team. What can you do for me? What deals can we have? Well, to be honest, at the moment, you've got uh, not percent available over up to 60 months. Mm -hmm. uh, you've also got uh, cash deals that Perry's can do. And what they'll do is tailor it to whatever you want as a customer to suit your needs. Brilliant. Sounds good to me then. So you guys know what to do. If you want to come and see the Aguila, come and see Nick and the team at Perry's. Thanks again, Nick. It's been a great welcome. pleasure. Thank you. No problem. As with all new Vauxhalls, the lifetime warranty brings you assurance knowing that your car is going to last the distance. For more information, go to our website, which is www.perrys.co.uk.